Happy Friday, Net Generation. How are you? I am so excited to see you again. My name's Leah. Welcome to my home. Let's do an equipment check before we start. Do you have a racket, ball, your four objects, and a wall? Are you ready? Wait a second, before we begin, Claire, can you come to the screen? Thanks. Give your sister Isabel a hug for me. Happy eighth birthday, Isabel. All right, Net Generation, here we go. I want you to put your equipment down and you're gonna pretend like you're high-fiving me through the screen. So you're going to clap and go across and across. Do that with me. Now let's add a 10, are you ready? Good. You're gonna move with me, Net Generation. Here we go, ready? Go. Can you go up high? A 10. Can you go low? One more. All right, give me a big jump. All right, here we go, Net Generation. What I want you to do, I want you to pick up your ball. This game is called Mamba Rama. I actually had the amazing opportunity to work with Kobe Bryant at the US Open in 2019. So let's do it together, are you ready? We're going to dribble the ball with our right hand first. Here we go. So what sport is this? This is basketball, right? Another multi-sport, here we go. We want you playing sports. Now go to your left. Now, can you cross it and go back and forth? Good job, Net Generation. Let me see you do it. Right to left, right to left. Nice, okay. Now, Kobe taught me how to play the bongos. Are you ready? We're gonna take our dribble. We're gonna get it as low as we can and play the bongos. Are you down here with me, Net Generation? Nice job, let's bring it back up. Now, can you dribble forward? Can you dribble back? I'm alternating, what are you doing? Let me see. Oh, I see some right hand, left hand, crossover. I think some of you are even trying to spin it. You'll have to teach me that, Net Generation. All right, here we go. Can you go between your legs? Let's see. Woo! Oh, I dropped it. Okay, you keep going, Net Generation. You got this. All right, now let's go from basketball to a little catch. What, do, what sport do we catch in? Baseball. All right, here we go. Off a wall or with your partner, I want you to underhand toss it and catch it with your right hand in front of your body. Just like that. Catch. Why do you think we're doing this, Net Generation? What, what skill did we work on last week? Our volleys. Remember, we're volleying. When we volley, it's out in front of our body. Good. Now I want you to go to your left hand. Good. So keep tossing and catching it in front of your body. I think it's time to add some movement. You know I don't like to stand still. So what you're going to do, you're gonna to toss it with your right, catch with your right, a couple shuffles over, and go and over. You got this, Net Generation. Keep moving. Good job. Let me see you do it. Keep it up. You got this, Net Generation. I know it may be hard to catch with one hand. You can always catch with two if you need to. You got this. Let's go for about 10 more seconds here. Keep going. Working on that position in front of your body. You have three, two, one. Awesome, that fist bump, right? Remember, I wanna see what you're giving me. So if you're giving me a fist bump through the screen, put it in the comments. If you're giving me a high five, let me see those high fives. I need to feel the love, Net Generation. All right, you know what time it is. It's our word of the day. So, Silas, I've heard you've been working very hard on your listening skills and your respect. I'm proud of you. Can you add the one more? Our word of today is effort. So what does effort mean to you all? I shared a story last week. My dad always told me hard work pays off. So you have to work hard if you want to achieve success in the classroom, if you want good grades, if you want to become a great tennis player, maybe you want to be an astronaut, a doctor, a dentist, whatever you want to become, you have to put your hard work into it. Some of you have asked where I'm filming this from. 
Well, you're in my home and I live in Orlando, Florida, and this room is my happy place. I'm in here every morning around 5.30, either lifting weights on my bike. I have to put in the work so that I can be ready for you all and that I can achieve success if it's at work, if it's on the court, just in my daily life. I love being in this room and thanks for joining me in this room, Net Generation. Again, I want you to work hard throughout the next few minutes. All right, Net Generation, here we go. Let me move my objects. I already kicked one out of the way. When I say go for a minute, we're working on our ground strokes. Remember, our contact's in front of our body and we're doing our split step. You ready? One minute and go. Remember, you can say split each time if you need to, split. Split, we worked on that last week, split. Good, let me watch you, keep it going. Nice, I like that split step and those small steps to get around the ball, that's awesome. I see you, Rockingham County. Shelby, thanks for all you're doing in North Carolina. We really appreciate you. Keep going, I'm gonna join you again. Split, split, split. Good, keep going, that generation. You just under 30 seconds left. I love those split steps. You can even do a trap with your split steps if you need to. Trap. Good job. Keep it going, Net Generation. You got this. Just under 15 seconds. Let's put a little bit of extra work into these last few seconds, okay? You have five, four, three, two, one. Great work, Net Generation. That bump, I like it. All right, we're going to review our forehand volley now. So remember, let's do our grip check. Remember, it's a hammer or it's like riding a bike. Did any of you ride a bike over the weekend? Show me, tell me. All right, when I say go, keeping that continental grip, you're gonna either volley and trap it or you're gonna keep it going. Rack it up in that generation. Here we go. Let's go for mm, 30 seconds. Are you ready? I didn't see it. Are you ready, Net Generation? Go. Keeping that continental grip, rack it up. I think some of you liked those tips last week. Grip, rack it up. Keep going. Nice job, Net Generation. Mia, your continental grip skills look amazing. You're actually adding the next skill in. We'll share that in a second. Come on, that generation, let's do a few more together. Good job. Oh, I keep losing the ball today. All right. So, we all make mistakes, that's okay. Coaches are allowed to drop balls too. All right, new skill alert. We're using the same grip, so our continental grip, but now we're adding it to our backhand. Look at that. That's my backhand volley. So I'm gonna show you what a backhand volley looks like. So all I do is my knuckles are facing my target. I hit and I let it bounce. So a trick that I'm going to give you, if it feels a little difficult, if your racket feels heavy, just choke up a little bit, make your racket smaller. I do this a lot when I'm practicing and let it bounce. So when I say go, continental grip, Toss with your non-dominant hand, catch it. Are you ready, Net Generation? We'll go for about 30 seconds. Grip check. I like that I saw a lot of you checking your grips. Keep it up, ready, go, 30 seconds. Good job. I wish I would have learned this when I was your age, Net Generation. I learned this a lot later. This will make you a better tennis player. Keep it going. Good, let me see you. Oh, I love that we're doing some grip checks. That looks really great. We have about four more seconds. Three, two, one, good job. Give me a fist bump. Hey Ella in Northern Illinois, I love seeing your video of you checking your grip. If more of you are doing your grips over the weekend, share that video. Remember, hashtag Net Generation Live. All right, next round, are you ready? You're gonna try to keep it going now. Maybe you do two in a row. Maybe you then go for three. We did that last week, that was Jax. Are you ready, Net Generation? We got three, two, 
One, let's go for 30 seconds. Remember, you can let it bounce too. I'm gonna go this way. Just over 10 seconds, that generation. Let me see you. I love that you're checking your grips in between shots. That's the way to work hard on a new skill. Keep it going. We have five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, Net Generation. I want to do one more round of practice. This is a hard skill. So let's work hard together. Let's go one more time, keeping our continental grip. Let's do a quick grip check together. Remember, riding a bike or like a hammer. You ready? All right, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Good, I love that you're counting. I even hear some Spanish, that's awesome. Okay, remember, I need you to teach me things in different languages. Send them in, I wanna add it to the class. Keep going, Net Generation, just over about 10 seconds right now. Continental grip, we got this. You have five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, here we go. We're combining forehand with our backhand volleys, keeping our continental grip. And because we're working on it, we'll keep our non-dominant hand behind our back when we do it. So I'll toss and I'm gonna keep it going. You know what? There's somebody better that can show you what an alternating volley looks like. Hey, Jen, take it away. Thanks, Leah. Thanks, Net Generation, for having me. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy while at home. Here's how I hit volleys off the garage door. All right, Net Generation, show me what you got. Amazing, thank you so much, Jen. Net Generation, you just had top 50 American tennis professional, all-star athlete, Jen Brady, just show you alternating volleys. I'm inspired, are you inspired? All right, let's do this, Net Generation. You're going to toss and then keep that hand behind you. Are you ready? 30 seconds, go. Alternating volleys. Remember, it's okay to do one, two, and then catch. You can even do one, two, one, two. Let me keep watching you. Good job. You also know who inspires me, Buddy Up Tennis. Will and Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. All right, Net Generation, just under five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Do you want one more round of practice with that? Again, remember you have to work hard when you are learning a new skill. Let's go 20 seconds alternating volleys. Are you ready? And go. Good, I'm gonna pause and watch you. Remember, I'm always coaching myself. I have a big responsibility teaching you all. All right, Net Generation. Just under five seconds, okay, or over five seconds. You have three, two, one. Good job. Fist bump. Do you know what time it is now? It's game time. So, objects come into play. I'm gonna put my shampoo bottle close to my wall. I'll put my hammer, that I don't know how to build anything, behind my shampoo bottle. My saucepan from last week, behind that, and my notebook the furthest back. So when I say go, you're going to pick a number between four and eight. I'm gonna go with six. Let me show you. Six, I'm gonna do six volleys from my first target. I'll decide if I wanna do volleys or ground strokes from my second target, and then my ground strokes at my last two targets. I'll do six at each, and then I'll work my way back. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I go back. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Remember, let me show this again. You can do it with a progression. You can trap it. Okay, now I'm on my third. Maybe I wanna trap it here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I would do the same thing from my last target. You got it, Net Generation, okay? I'm gonna give you two minutes. See how many times you can go up and back. Are you ready, Net Generation? No, 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 I'm sorry, I can't hear you. This is a new skill, a new day. Are you ready, Net Generation? All right, let's do this. Two minutes, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I picked six, what number did you pick? One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you tell me what objects are you using? Does anybody else have a shampoo bottle? What about a saucepan? Do you have ideas for me to use next time? Maybe I have it in my house. I think I'm on my saucepan right now. One, woo, two, three, four, five, six. So next generation, let me ask you a question. What's happening in my skill as I move further back? We've talked about this. The further away you get from your target or your partner, the bigger your stroke gets, okay? Just be careful, I have a wall behind me. I don't wanna hit my wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, next generation, we got one more minute. I'm gonna to start to work my way back in. Are you working your way back in? One, two, three, four, five, Six, did anybody else pick six? I hope my counting's not messing you up. This is to keep me on track. Some of you called me out last week for my misses in counting. Way to keep me honest, Net Generation. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna watch you. You have about 20 more seconds left. I love that we're checking those grips. So as you're getting closer to the wall, you're doing your grip check, your continental grip. Keep it up, Net Generation. 15 seconds to go. You got this. Our ready positions. Hard work pays off, Net Generation. You can do this. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, Net Generation, good job. It's everybody's favorite time. Free play. Grab your objects, tell me what you're using. Free play for two minutes. I've tried a new skill. I actually practiced during this week. So, ready? Free play, go. I'm gonna use my continental grip and catch it. Whew. Practice must help because over, over the week when I was doing this, I missed it. Is anybody else using a saucepan? What else can I use? Do you think I can use my hammer to hit it? I don't know, this is gonna be hard. Oh, I just hit the camera. Let's see, continental grip, keeping it up. Let me see what you're using. Oh, some of us are using beach bags. I like that. I see some buckets out there. That's so cool. I'll have to look for a bucket next time. I'm gonna move my objects this time. We talked a lot about skill and multi-sport. So I'm gonna see if I can hop over, hit it, catch and hit. It's a little tight for me. What do you have, Net Generation? Let me see what you're doing. Oh, I like it. Yep, some of you added footwork, some of you are hitting, and then we're covering back to touch a line. All that footwork is amazing. Keep it going, Net Generation. Just under a minute. We got it. Let me see. What else can I do? Let's see if I can rally with my saucepan. Whew. This is harder than I thought it would be. And let me catch. I got it. Did you get it? Keep it going. Oh, let's see if I can do it with my backhand. Oh, I got it. All right, next generation, 20 more seconds. You got this, keep pushing. This is your time to create your own game. You're at your own house, why wouldn't we do this? Own rules, own house, it's your game. Own it, Net Generation. We have five, 
four, three, two, one. I'll give you a high five with my saucepan this time. All right, you know what time it is. A power round with your objects moving back. So get them into your line again. All right. We'll do one minute power round. Are you ready? Get set, go. Pick that number. I'm gonna go to four this time. Ooh. One, two, three, four. 50 seconds in that generation. One, two, three, four. I think I meant 40 there. Keep it going. One, two, three, whoa, four. Let me see what you got in that generation. I love it. You're moving forward and backward. You're checking those grips. Continental grip, riding that bike. You got this next generation. I'm gonna work on it again. I'm gonna put my hand behind my back. It takes a lot of control. You got it though. I'm so proud of you for trying it. You have 15 more seconds. You can do this. It's okay to slow down and check your grip. You have 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, that generation. Give me one more fist bump. Give me a high five. I think we threw an elbow in last time. You did so well today. Let's do a quick recap. We started off, right? Working, getting ready for our volleys. So we did some dribbles. We did some catches. What was that word of the day? I think I said work hard a lot, right? So effort. Remember, you, whatever you put into something, that's the result you're going to get out. Always give 110%. Classroom, sports, everything. We reviewed ground strokes. We reviewed the continental grip. And we heard from Jen Brady. Can you believe it? Jen Brady taught us how to alternate our volleys. Thanks again, Jen. We really appreciate it. We worked on moving back into our court, so the bigger our space gets, the bigger our stroke, and we remembered our continental grip. Free play is always a favorite. So, before next week, keep working on alternating your volleys, all right? And before we do our cheer, Sunday is Mother's Day. So to all of our net generation mothers, grandmothers, aunts, mother figures, and to my mom, I wish I could be in Pittsburgh with you. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Let's do a cheer on three, Net Generation. Ready? One, two, three. Net Generation. I'll see you next week. Thanks.